Hello, it's Monday, May 3rd, and that means two things. I don't have anything catchy or original to say this week, and it's time for the Lighting Industry News Brief, brought to you by Keystone and their XFIT outdoor fixtures. These floodlights, guess what? They come in five wattages. That's 15, 35, 60, 75, and 100 watt models. These come with color select tile technology. They have built-in photo cells. They have all two kinds of mounts. That's keystonetech.com or the link in the description, if you please. In the news, ATAR Capital has acquired Universal and Douglas. These were formerly owned by Panasonic. They will now operate under the name Universal Douglas Lighting Americas. UL has released a new edition for the UV- UVC devices. This uh, document 8802 has been revised to match new research and renewed interest in disinfection tech. Federal funds are are modernizing the electrical grid. There's $8 billion being made available in loans to developers and utilities. That's loans because of James Madison. It's a weird story. Anyway, copper and lighting equipment will experience shortages across the board in the near future, according to the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. Ingeman Components is entering the U.S. market in cooperation with OEM lighting sales. Lightline is expanding West Coast distribution with a new facility in Langley, B.C. Uh, Thin Air Energy has created a device that measures UVC strength and dose. It's a handy little thing you can check to see if you're, uh, what you're selling really works. Uh, on Get a Grip on Lightning, Martin Cole appears this week. Edison Report has partnered with Energy Watch. That's uh, Bill Atardi's site. Uh, now they'll be hosted there. Uh, Cumix has launched a daylight calculator. This is a software to help you find the best light settings. Signify has reported sales growth. Uh, Their first quarter results have been announced in other quarterly reports. Hubble has uh, sold sold more than $1.71 per share in revenue. This is up from the same period last year. Uh, Keystone Tech has a new interactive demo series going on tour right now. You can sign up for that now. Pure Li-Fi is sell- has sold 4.2 million in gear to the Army. Uh, this will be deploying VLC systems in European and African bases. Cree reported $109 million in losses, which is not as bad as they expected. Trilux has expanded their partnership with Sonpar. This is in the Asia-Pacific region. Rockwell has surpassed their Q2 sales and uh, revenue <laughs> sales and revenue estimates, uh, sales up 5%. In events, Light and Building 2022 and Education 2022 are the same week. Uh, Light and Building will run in the EU on the 13th of the 18th of March, and Education will run in New York City from the 15th to 16th. Uh, Strategies in Light has canceled their in-person show for the year uh, because the Santa Clara Convention Center will not be available. Uh, presumably for uh, plague-related reasons. Endeavor Business Media has announced a new show for next year. Uh, Light Spec West will run in LA September 22nd of 2022. Uh, Lightovation has named the Showroom of the Year finalists. These are 15 retail spaces named. Winners will be announced on June 24th. And the Good Light Group has planned a four-webinar series starting May 11th, or oh. Four webinars to be held on May 11th. In rep agencies, Hosley has partnered with Spectrum for uh, the Mississippi Delta. Zycato has partnered with California Lighting Sales. And GE Current, comma, a Dean Tree company, has partnered with DZ Cook, also in California. In market projections, Smart Cities Market will grow by 20% over the next five years. Smart Homes will reach $15 billion in economic value over the next four and grow lights will reach four billion in value by 2026. In recommended reading, we have CPPG on renewable energy installs in historic homes, IoT for senior care, consulting the consulting special specifying engineer on how to switch to wireless controls, uh, EDN on evaluating sensors for tunable LED, a quest, an answer to the question why the office lighting is so bad, the best LEDs for art and recommendations for melanopic design. 
in IoT. Seoul, South Korea is installing smart poles. These six neighborhoods will play host to 26 connected poles. Melbourne, Australia is actually launching a smart city education program in Argyle Square, showing off what a proposed smart city will do for them. Smart Pole will take your temperature and tell you to go home. This is a proposal from EU Smart Cities Marketplace uh, that will uh, invade your personal space to tell you if you need to take some more personal time. Uh, in R&D, we have a new low blue white LED created from a research paper in ACS Applied Materials and Interfaces. You can actually estimate income inequality from space thanks to a three-university team correlating light pollution and standards of living data, children are better off after experiencing daylight. This is a study of kindergartners showing reduced hyperactivity after time outdoors. Bright light therapy uh, might be useful for Parkinson's disease. This is a small study showing promise for very high energy bursts of light helping people with that disease. Your phone's night mode isn't all that useful. This is from Brigham Young University, saying that you should turn off your phone if you really want circadian well-being. And Tristan Dieppe and Jeremy N. Monday have created a solar panel that generates power at night. Uh, in horticultural news, a Langley greenhouse has gone LED and their lettuce is now 30% bigger. In dark skies, Logan, Utah is calling for light production pollution reduction. Treasure Island, Florida has opt for turtle-friendly lighting. Lake Geneva, Wisconsin has hired a full-time dark sky officer. And Sangre de Cristo, Colorado, begins the process of becoming a dark sky reserve. And Chiricahua, has, the uh, Chiricahua Monument, has been named a dark sky park. The FAA has altered tower lighting rules, rules uh, specifically related to pulsing red lights, in hopes of reducing bird strikes. And the Royal Astronomical Society has measured a 10% change in sky glow specifically related to Starlink satellites. Local news. Atlanta, Georgia will be adding 10,000 new streetlights. The Dallas Market Center will play host to Hinckley's showroom. Plattsburgh, Vermont is considering more retrofit incentives. Three Ohio municipalities will benefit from EPA financing. Scarborough, Maine will be installing smart streetlights. Denton, Texas will, has cleared an LED streetlight conversion, as has Petersburg, Virginia. They've got 3,400 poles to do. Dallas, Texas will be upgrading 16 neighborhoods to LED. Branchville, South Carolina will be purchasing solar-powered lighting for municipally owned facilities. And the San Francisco, California waterfront is getting new lighting. In People News, Altman is promoting Tom Casaza. Signify has appointed Christy Tilton as VP, Elk Home has hired Gil Sturzel, Jake Blake, and Victoria Korea. We have Mike Wichterisch as leaving CEO of Chesapeake Energy, and Ted Chappell is joining Interlux as the president. And that has been the Lighting Industry News Brief. I have been Scott Walker. Enjoy the music, enjoy your week, and consider joining Nailed. Get associated, get educated. New LS Evolve continuing education modules hosted by Mark Ray from the Icon School of Medicine. Later. <laughs>